like, no water, no life. A journey of hope turned into a nightmare. At least 31 migrants died after the dinghy drowned as they made a perilous crossing of the English Channel from the French side in Calais. Among the victims was a little girl who had the same hope of finding a better life in the UK. The disaster is the worst on record since the channel became a preferred route for smugglers. Officials in both sides have traded blames for the incident. Difficulties persuading some of our partners, uh, particularly the French, to, to, to do things in, in, in a way that we think is uh, the situation deserves. But what we want now is uh, to do more. The French interior minister said the fight against these criminals is an international duty. This horrible tragedy affects us all. The response must be international, coordinated and very severe in order to prevent more like it. We must fight against these criminals and against terrorists. President Emmanuel Macron said France would not allow the channel to become a symmetry and vowed to find out who was responsible for the tragedy. It is Europe's deepest values, humanism, respect for the dignity of each person, that are in Maureen, Macron said. Four people so far suspected of being directly linked to the incident have been arrested while rescue teams who went in search for potential survivors later said 27 bodies were found, two people survived and four others were missing and presumed drowned. According to the French authorities, more than 30,000 people attempted to leave for Britain since the start of the year and 7,000 have been rescued at sea. British authorities said more than 25,000 migrants have now arrived illegally so far this year already triple the figure recorded in 2020.